What's going on guys? So I might have back again with your weekly Ross skins videos and as we can see we have a new spacesuit which is a Hazzy skin. No it is not meaning that the hazmat is skinnable. It just means that there is a new face punch unique item and that is going to be just like the surgeon scrubs um, and that is going to be its own item. So we'll start off with the clothing and I'm not sure whether hazmat will be. It's not in the clothing or armor so I'm going to assume it's in other. We'll start off with the armor because there's no clothing. We get the dread chest plate and metal face mask. Overall these are both uh, very unique looking metal armor pieces in my opinion and they are going for above the center store. So they're going for 90 cents each which in my opinion isn't a great thing but they are going to be pretty easy to pair with other skins as you can see and that is because they're black and red obviously so this is the uh edgy kids dream they definitely want to pick up this metal gear set and overall i do think that because of that the demand for the dread armor will be there once it leaves the ross Sutton store and goes onto the community market so overall i do think that they're going to be pretty safe investments even though at the moment they are currently in the top three for the top sellers the spacesuit being number one obviously and overall, the only problem is they are going for $2.90, as I just said, so they are a little bit more expensive than usual. That is going to make it a little bit harder to flip them as a short-term investment, but overall, I do still see potential in the Dread Mask and the Dread chest plate, especially as long-term items. I do think they're going to be able to make you some easy profit. And unless you have a small Steam wallet, then I will recommend investing in the Dread set for this week. Alrighty, moving over to the weapons, we have the Paintball LR. So this is probably like the 1 millionth rainbow LR skin we have on the Rust Item store and will be obviously going to the community market. So overall, I actually do like this LR. I do think it is quite unique, even though we already have a million rainbow LR skins already accepted. I still do think that this is actually quite a nice looking LR skin and is still unique in comparison to some of the other rainbow looking LR skin so going for $2.90 which is the standard store price for tools and weapons I do see that being a good thing for the paintball LR although just keep in mind there are two very colorful looking LR skins on the community market at the moment the Optimist LR going for $2.59 and the Toy Loss LR going for $2.70 which are obviously below that $2.90 standard store price so keep that in mind as well they do look uh, quite a bit different but that is just to compare when it comes to the real bright colored LR skins. There is already, as I said, quite a few of them on the community market. So that will flush out the demand and uh, make it a little harder to make profits off of the paintball LR. So what I would recommend doing for this week is placing a buy order on the community market once the paintball LR leaves the Rust Item store and picking it up from there for a little bit cheaper and then just trying to flip it straight away. I do think you'll be able to do that. But as a long-term investment, I also do think that it's going to be a safe investment. And if you did want to get it as a play skin, I do also still think that should be a relatively safe investment as well, just because it is a unique looking skin. And I do think as a longer term investment, it will be a safe investment to make you some easy profits. Right, moving over to the Retro Wave Bow. So this one's going for $2.90, which is the standard store price for bow skins. And I do think that this is actually the most, one of the most unique looking bow skins we have so far. Obviously it is a continuation of the Retro Wave set now. And it is also probably the most colorful bow skin that is currently on the community, that will currently be on the community market when it leaves the Ross Adam store. So overall, I do think this should be a relatively safe investment. It probably will get oversaturated. Currently it is fourth on the top sellers. And I also do think that the really light blue bow string does look very unique. Hopefully that doesn't get too distracting, but I don't think that it's going to be too, but I don't think it's going to have too much of an impact on your gameplay. So going for $2.90, I do think that the Retro Wave bow should be a relatively safe investment besides the fact that it's probably going to get oversaturated. So that will make it a longer term investment just because bow skins currently don't have the craziest demand even though there is currently only three pages of bow skins on the community market, which is 25 bow skins currently. So overall, I do think the Retro Wave bow will be a safe investment, but if you don't have a very large Steam wallet, I won't recommend investing in it. If you want to pick it up as a play skin, I do think it will make you profits. And if you do want to pick it up as a medium to long-term investment, I also do think it's going to make you some pretty easy profits, but I don't think it's going to be a very good short-term item just because bows aren't usually very good when it comes to quick flips. 
Right, and moving over to the cobalt supply box. So we have got quite a few small wooden storage boxes throughout this year, and overall, I actually do really like this cobalt supply box. I do think it is very nice and very unique looking. Going for $2.15, it also adds a little bit to the lore and continues on with the cobalt skins that we've currently got in. So we have a cobalt set. So going for $2.15, I do think that the cobalt supply box is going to be a safe investment. And it is also currently the second last item on the top sellers. So that does mean that it is pretty unlikely that we are going to get oversaturation for the cobalt supply box, which is definitely a good thing, especially for long term, because that does mean the demand will end up outweighing the quantity, of course. So overall, I will recommend investing in the cobalt supply box for this week. And I do think it is actually quite a nice looking skin. All right, so I actually just realized that it's the first Friday of the month, so it is full swipe today. And that is why we have the elevator stuff coming out. So the elevators would have probably just got added to Rust because we definitely all asked for them. This is going for $2.15, the elevator garage door stand store price for deployables like the garage door and sheet metal doors. Overall, I'm not a massive fan of this garage door skin, just personally not my cup of tea but overall i do definitely think it matches the rust aesthetic and phase has done a good job with that although i'm not going to recommend investing in the elevator garage door for this week just because i personally don't think it is a standout skin and i don't think that the demand is really going to be that high for this elevator garage door once it leaves the rust item store currently it is the last on the top seller so it's at the very bottom good spot for it to be at if you want to be investing but as i just said i don't think the demand is going to be there for the elevator garage door for you to be making any crazy profits so for that reason i am not going to recommend investing in the elevator garage door for this week all right moving over to the lab elevator double door going for two dollars and fifteen cents as well and this one is a sheet metal double door skin made by bad trip if i'm not mistaken and overall i'm going to say this is the same thing as the garage door that we just looked at i personally don't think that it's going to do very crazy i don't think it's going to have a crazy high demand or anything like that and that is just because there isn't anything to stand out about this skin although this is where my opinion changes a little bit this is because the item is a sheet metal double door there is only one sheet metal double door that is actually below this $2.15 standard store price. So for that reason, I will actually recommend investing in the lab elevator double door. I don't think it's going to have a crazy high demand, but that is actually a good thing. Currently, it is at the bottom of the top sellers, second last. And I do think it should actually be a pretty safe investment. The only problem with the lab elevator double door is it doesn't have a very high demand on the community market. So that does mean it's going to be, it is going to take a little bit longer to sell, but I still do think it's going to be a safe investment just because all of the sheet metal double door skins are profitable, except for the Horseman Apocalypse of the Apocalypse door. And that's only because it got oversaturated and there is 101 on the community market. So for that reason, I will recommend investing in the lab elevated double door for this week. And I do think it should be a relatively safe investment. All right, moving over to the space suit. So look at the description of this one. I'm not sure if this is meant to be lore or anything. I haven't actually fully read it, but the urgency of what would later be known as Project Nova required Cobalt to bypass the design phase of an EVA suit, something that would normally take years when they had weeks. Using early Soviet designs acquired by costly industrial espionage, Cobalt managed to produce a limited number of protective spacesuits. The whereabouts of most of them are unknown, but some were retained for terrestrial applications given their radiation protection properties. So that is interesting that they've added that cool little description to the actual skin itself. But this one is made by Face Punch, guys. This is not a, has he is not a skinnable item. So just to clear that up, this is going to be pretty much the same as what the Surgeon Scrubs and the Dragon Mask and the Rat Mask and that dumb bird helmet thing is so this is going for $14.50 and overall I actually do still think this is going to be a safe investment at the moment it is the top seller I think it's going to remain the top seller all week and I do think it's going to get oversaturated on the community market the best thing for you to do would be to place a buy order on the community market during the week that it crashes which will be the first week after a couple of days but I'm still going to buy mine off of the rice item store because one I want it two it skits and three I am going to be having this as a long-term item slash a play skin as well because I obviously like to collect skins otherwise I wouldn't have over a thousand skins so I really do like this spacesuit 
overall, if you don't have that much money, I wouldn't recommend investing in it. Obviously, there's going to be better things to be investing in, especially for $14.50. This will be a longer term investment, but if you are happy to wait and hold on to long term items, I will recommend investing in the space suit for this week. It would definitely be better to be placing a buy order on the community market to maximize your profits. But I do also still think buying it off of the Russ item store and then holding on to it as a long-term item will still make you some easy profits. So for that reason, I will recommend investing in the spacesuit for this week, even though it's $14.50 and it looks absolutely skit. So good work, Face Punch. All right, guys, this is my car for this week. I'm getting one of everything except for FaZe's garage door. Sorry, FaZe, but I'm just not a fan of it. This is going to cost me $30.40. This spacesuit is absolutely skit, but obviously it is quite expensive. So if you don't have a very high Steam wallet, Definitely don't recommend investing in it because it's going to be taking up a massive chunk of your investments when you can be spending that on better, th better things. That will be making you profits a lot faster. But overall, $30.40 for this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and remember, have a skits one. Why? 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 Why?